Good morning, good morning. Oh, y'all can hear me. What'd you say? So my wife bothered me, got me late this morning. She supposed to be in bed still. She woke up and knocked me off trying to get on this computer. How y'all doing this morning? Give honor to the most high. Waking up this morning, man. Think about that, man. You woke up this morning, your legs work, your arms work, your ears work, your eyes work. Man, you ain't have to do nothing. Got in your car. Some of you, your car took you to work. You went there and got in your job. You make money. So, hey, give honor to the most high. Thanking them. Giving them blessings, man, because the blessings is waking up this morning. Hey, man, you seen what I said? Planning, man, planning. Still on this planning thing. I'm going to try to do a series on, man, like different ages from 20s and your 20s and your 30s and your 40s and your 50s, you know. Because we started thinking, man, we behind. And these little things, little small things, little understanding, getting some knowledge will teach you that you're not, man, that you, what things you can do to catch up if you behind. But sometimes you think you're behind and you're not, man. Because I say, I'm, the day I'm doing on the 20th, but when I remember when I was 34 and I was like, oh, it's too late. I didn't do what's right. Oh. And I just, you know what I'm saying, then you get scared and you just, then you just get up. You just give up. You know what I'm saying? We all give up. We start looking at what we did in our past, our, our young person, and we start saying, man, I can't do that. I can't do it. I'm just, I can't make it. It's over. It is what it is. I'm just going to go out. I'm going to crash out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to crash a new thing. I'm going to crash out. But I'm here to tell you, man, stats. Like I said, I look at stats, research, you know what I'm saying? People teaching me, man, learning, you know. So so what I said about the 20s, man, like I told you in the get-go, I want to get to 18 to 25, you know what I'm saying, and catch them early, man, catch them early and teach them something and start gaining them, man. It's knowledge, and it's amazing knowledge that they get, man. It's amazing, man. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing what I'm going to tell you, man. So I'm going to start off with the 20-year-olds, you know, 20-year-olds. You go, you go, you coming out of high school, you know, you want to go to college, you know. And I'm going to use this my daughter because my daughter, she's 20. And she came out, she's been working since she was 14, 15, 15, 16, she's been working. So I'm going to tell you how strong and mind-blowing when I say, man, you get them young and what you can do for them and guide them once you know. When you know, you know. You know, when I was young at 20, and hold up, hold on, let me set my alarm clock for 30 minutes because I don't know what to do with my phone. When you're young and at them twenties, man, you know you made mistakes. So hold on. Tell Siri. Hey Siri, set my alarm for thirty minutes. Done. Yeah, it's a done. When you're young, your twenties, you know you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I was. I was in the twenties, man. I remember when I first, you know, got married young, I had a family, had a wife, my daughter, and I remember when I went and bought me a car, you know, which I shouldn't have done. But I didn't even know the interest rate on the car. I just bought the car. You know what I'm saying? I want the car. It looked good. Oh, I'm about to show off, you know what I'm saying? That was in my mind. I'm in the Army, wouldn't make it no money. Wouldn't make it no money to go get no new car. I think I bought a, a, a Pontiac Sun 5. It was clean, man. I, I had to polish on that rub on that thing, man. So I was young and foolish. I didn't understand money. I didn't know what money was, didn't understand. I just know, hey, I got to have it. I want it. Had a family, a wife. We starting off. She, she wasn't working. I wanted it. But you know how long that lasted. But my first car, well, my first car was a Chevy Malibu. I paid cash for that. I did right, but the engine, you know, I had to change the engine out. And But then I thought I deserved something else. You know, I had a family, so I deserved to look good, you know. Didn't understand anything. Didn't have nothing. But anyway, so I'm in my 20s. <coughs> I'm getting to the young people. Like my daughter, my daughter, man, she's uh, she's been working since she's been 15. I always had a saving, always foundational, hey, you got to put savings. At the time, it wasn't 25%. It was just put some money in there, throw some money in there, just to get her used to training her to understand savings. So when I started putting it in there, she, hey, hey, check, we take it out. My wife, my wife connect, uh, check, she had it connected to our checking account, so we would just take money out, get money here, get money there, take it out. And I mean, one time she got it, I think she got a amount, man, about 500 some dollars or something she got. And she was all excited about our work this, work that. And then she told me, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I said, well, we're going to put that in savings. You, uh, you got 500 I think five, six hundred dollars I said, we're going to take that in savings. You're going to keep 200 And she's just like, what? And she really felt in her heart like, why are you doing that? Like, like the money wasn't hers anymore. She really in the money. Like, I, I said, well, what, what's the difference of being in your savings or anything? I like to look at it. I said, what you mean? You're looking at it. It's still your money. The money is not gone. It is still your money. But the money going towards something. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, 
got that. And I'm telling you, it's, it was hard for her to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because I told her, so you put that money, you're going to spend it. We're not going to do it. We're not going to let you do it, you know, because I had a past. You know, I like to tell stories. I remember my, uh, I raised my sister-in-law. I mean, I ain't going to tell you her name. But I raised her. Me and my ex-wife were together. I knew her since she was a little kid, about six, kindergarten. And she, she was living with us, and she had a job. And I know I got 30 minutes. got to be fast. She had a job, and she, uh, we save her money. We keep her money, so we kept keep it in the house, save it in a little safe. And one day she come and she say, hey, you know, I want my money. I want to go shopping. I say, what? She say, I want all my money, and I want to go, I want to take my money, I want to go shopping. I'm, my ex-wife at the time, she say, nah, we ain't give her nothing. She ain't getting nothing. I say, wait. I say, oh, you want all your money? She say, yeah. I say, give it to her. You know, I'll go with you, give it to you. She got a job. She had a little, t you know, back then we had pages. You know, she just feeling herself. She went to the store, to the mall, and spent everything. I don't know if it was $2,000, whatever, spent it all. She come home. She laying the clothes out on the bed, the shoes and stuff. I think she got about four pair of pants, man. She, a couple shirts, about tennis shoes, two shoes. She laying it out. Look at that. Look at that little kid. I said, ooh. You gonna be clean, girl. You gonna be clean. You gonna kill him for school. She, yeah. Now, and the time she got a little son. She had a baby. She young. She got a baby. I said, you gonna be clean. You gonna be killing him when school starts. She smiling, big old smile on her face. She going catching cab. Now her job was right down the street, but she catching cab to work. She just balling, just doing it, buying all this stuff. So one day she come to me and it's raining. She say, hey, uh. Key, can you give me a ride to work? I said, what? Can you give me a ride to work? I said, give me what? <laughs> what you mean, can you get a ride to work? Well, it's raining, I need to ride. I said, where's your taxi cab? You ain't catch a cab? You ain't caught, You ain't balling today? Well, I ain't got no more money. I said, man, that ain't my problem. I said, you better get that umbrella. And the umbrella and get you to start walking to work. That's what you're going to do. I said, you spent all that money. You ain't got a penny. You don't get paid for two. Don't ask me for nothing, baller. You look good. Look at you. Look good. Oh, man, she was clean. And she went through that whole, man, it was hard. She was broke. And if you ask her today, she'll tell you that story. She say she learned it right off the mustard. It wouldn't work. I said, them clothes wouldn't work. It. Them people looking at you didn't mean nothing to you, huh? She had to do it foolishly. The bills gave you the cell and the, uh, a pager, when you got to pay that? She wasn't paying no rent, but she went ball. She thought she can just spend everything. She got a son, but she learned from that. So I'm saying teaching your kids. People ask me, man, how you got this? I've been taking care of people since I was, and I'm not proud of them, since I was 18. My wife, uh, mother and them, uh, she has sisters and brothers that came and lived with us. I've been with, with kids, been in my life since I was young. That's why I ain't have them. So me, I can make, pat myself on the back, but taking care of people and doing this thing in life, you know what I'm saying? It, it's the wrong way and some of the right way. But anyway, I, my daughter, that was I'm telling my daughter that, and she looking. So fast forward, she's 20. And I'm sitting there talking to her. Now I'm sitting there with a budget showing her that I need her to do the 25%. So when I broke it down to the 25% of whatever she make, because she live on her own, she pay her bills. You know, you know what I'm saying? And she, she understood it. She had no problem. Now her 25% is a lot of money. Compared to you heard, I tell you the price of it. So she had no problem because it was ingrained in her. She understood it. She got a 401k. She got also, she got outside. She got a uh, Vanguard. She put money in there, fifty six dollars in there. Also, and with the 401k, she maxed it. So let me explain something to you. So uh, this is what I say, man. When you understand the things, man, and when you start learning stats, you know what I'm saying? I look at a lot of stats, percentages. Percentages are big. Percentages are big. So we're gonna look at the global. You got it, man. And listen to me, man. It got like I said, you got to understand the world. It got a global uh, network. The global network for, uh, of the world. The global network mid level is seventy five hundred dollars. Listen, what you listen seventy five hundred dollars. The global network is the mid range is seventy five hundred dollars. Now, the global network for uh, the United States, I mean, the, the, the network for the United States, you ain't gonna believe it. Ain't number 79,000. That's with all your assets, all your car, your house, your, uh, your, your, your cash you have in the bank, your network, all that, that all $79,000, mid-range. You see, we think numbers so big, we think things you gotta have so much, is the mid-range is 79 and some change. 
but globe is 7500 but we doing but we just poor people we and we like see that's what i'm saying money money all the people tell you man you, and when i tell you you can get out the situation you in you can but the mid range is seventy nine thousand. That's how your network, your house, your home, all that, that you add, your cash you have, subtract it from all your debt. It's 79, mid range, 79,000. See, these stats make things a little softer. So you're 20 years old. So imagine you're 20. Like, I'm, I'm going to use my, my niece. She's from your 20s, 20, 20, 29. That's the most of them. Man, like you say, people, you get in that line and say, man, I didn't do nothing right. I came out of college. Because when you go and just think your kids go to college, I was in college. They send you all kind of credit cards, man. They tell you, get you a credit card. You don't understand no credit card. Remember, I told you it's tools. You don't understand it. So you you think it's free money. You get them credit card. Your kids think it. Because I thought I was young. You get that money and you start creating that credit card debt. You start using that credit card. Knowing it. And they give it to you a little bit. Oh, you can use this. Here you go. Start off with. And they start sending it to your mail. And send it to your kid. Because she in college. She get it. She don't know about it. She think it's money. Look what they sent me. Oh, it's a blessing from God. Oh, look at what God know I needed. Because we looking in everybody else's lane. So she started using that credit card. She got a little job. Just a little job to get by. Ain't no big deal. She's going to school. So she's getting to school and she started using the credit card. Imagine that she already building up stu a student loan debt. Imagine that student loan debt tell you you can take more money out. This is your school will cost one. And I'm telling you all the general, you know the game. You get that money, then you say, well, I'm going to get more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go over. So I'm going to use that to live on. Building up that debt. Because I'm going to tell you some mind-blowing things. I'm going to tell you how you understand money. And you're going to say, man, what? You, you're going to look at money a whole different way. I'm going to tell you, so we're going to look at if you invest that money. Let's just say you invest some money. If you invest a dollar at the age of 25, you graduate college, you get out, and you do a dollar, nothing but a dollar. Invest that dollar. By you 65, that dollar is worth $88. Just a dollar. Now, let me show you time, man. Let me tell you time. Now, that's at 25. Now, you do the same dollar at 29. It ain't worth nothing but $26 and some change. Man, that's my man. I got to sit back on that. You see what I said? If I do it at 25, now all I invest is a dollar in the market. It's going to be worth $88. But if I wait till I'm 20, 29, that dollar goes down to what? 26 and some change, 2650 I think. Come on, man. Did you hear what I just said? Come on. That power of compound interest, man. A dollar, and you gonna it's worth $88 in the future. And see, like I said, when I was telling, talking yesterday, you need to go look at that. I was talking about the future you. Look what they do for the future you. Just a dollar. So now we're gonna go forward with them saying to do a dollar. You, you 20, look at the time. But see, and then what think now you got credit card debt, you got student loan debt, then we go get us a car. Now the average car we're gonna get it ain't gonna be we wanna shine. So we won't get the car. We don't know we're gonna do just like me. I just want a car. Cause see, when you young like that, I'ma say, I know you can't pay a car cash, but I'ma say you you shouldn't be riding no superstar luxury car. Uh, Lexus, Mercedes, and all these BMW. Um, you shouldn't be driving in there, wasting that money because that money is so powerful. But we do that to our kids. We go get them a car note and we do it. Not understanding what you're doing. And that's okay. It's okay. It's not. I'm not here to put you down. I'm, I'm going to have four, not half empty. Look at what you have. But see, in the 20s, you can mess up a little bit. You can do that. You made a mistake on the car note. You made a mistake on the student. Then you can do it. You can recover faster at 20. So you can, hey, the average car to car debt for a tw uh, in the 20s is average by $2,700. That's the average they have in their thing, $2,700. So that's not big. We can get that out, pay that out. Mom and dad can come and say, okay, we're going to start over, reset, make a plan for her, make a plan for her, sit down with her, let her listen to what I'm saying. That car note, what we going to do about that car note, man? We, she got 20. You got to have it. Because I'm say, well, Keith, you already talking about paying the car cash. No, you paying the car that you can afford. Well, Keith, I need to get a, a car that's going to, they got, they got to take care of them, man. I, I worry about them. I just can't get them no hoopty. Again, my, let me show you something. And see, people have families. My, my, and my daddy blesses, man, bless, bless, man. Bless my daughter. The car my daddy, my daddy, see, some people like me, I, we met mechanically inclined. My daddy told me that, so I used that. I love that mechanically inclined boy. 
you know. So my daddy mechanic. My daddy mechanic taught me how to be a mechanic. Saved me a lot of money. Saved me a lot of things. Saved me knowledge. And again, knowledge is powerful. But my sister, my oldest sister Monica had a car, and she old. She been up forty. I'm gonna put her. But she had a car that she bought brand new when she was a kid and going to college. That car went on my sister, her, my other little baby sister, her sister, she drove the car, had the car. And then after that car, my daddy had the car for years. This is 1998. I don't know if my sister can correct me. 98 Corolla. My daddy's a hell of a mechanic, hell of a worker. Me and him used to work on the car together. So after my sister got done, they bought them cars and moved the car. They gave it back to my daddy. I'm sure how the most high bless you. So my daddy kept the car working on it. I told my daddy one day, I said, Dad, we about to get another car. What you going to do with that car? I said, well, Dad, he said, well, I don't know what I, I said, well, man, man, Maddie, my daughter would love to have that. He's like, man, she don't want that. I said, yes, you do. And he gifted it to her. Had some problems with it. I said, man, I spent probably about four, five hundred dollars fix, fix some motor mounts. Knew everything wrong with it. And they gave it to her. No car note. 16 years old. Corolla, rolling. Fix a little couple of things, like she did. Then she had an accident. Hey, we repaired it ourselves, fixed everything on it, insured, whatever, fixed it all that. Rolled that car for years. She didn't need no, no new car. She didn't need no car, no. Rolled it for years to now. Then the car went on, we got over a car. Then I had a car, I had an SUV that I had it, that I was paid for. Hey, she got that now. So I'm telling you these things, man, things can happen the most high. I give it all to him. She drive me. But I, I tell her all the time, I tell you how young folks, I tell her all the time, you're in a perfect position. And she don't even see it. She don't understand it. Her mind can't. Her mind is still bubblegum. She can't understand things because she don't understand life. She's young. Her mind ain't going to form till she, they did a study. Your mind really don't form until you're like 26 years old. Think about it. They, don't let, they let you have medical insurance on your kids till they turn 26. Because they still thinking like a child, thinking like they're going to make mistakes. And they let you have that till they 26, on your medical till they 26. They go on to college, they can be on your medical. But like I said, my, I tell my daughter, she go to school, she go to college, hey, free. Damn, how you do that, kid? God, most high is so good. She have a job, she got a good job, customer service, she go to school, she work. Now, she a hard worker. But she just hard working enough, you got to teach them something, understand money. So I just told you if a dollar at $25 a dollar and to 65 be $88, imagine if she was doing hers since she'd been 18. Imagine if she was doing this since she'd been 18, what a dollar, how powerful a dollar is. So imagine she got time. See, she got time. If she would have messed it up, your child would messed it up. They 20s, they would have messed it up. They got time to fix that. And then just think, if you make more money, you put more in, you can buy more, buy your time back. See, I tell my kids, it's all about buying your time back. You get a business, man, you do these things. It's all about buying time back. The more money you make, the thing your life, you buying time back. See, people say time is money. No, time ain't money. Time over, over cash money any day. Time is way more important than money. And the numbers don't lie. The numbers show you. Another thing is, and I, I'm, I'm telling you these stats, man, So, because I know we're getting to the point we start thinking we done messed up, that we can't go back, we can't fix it. Yes, you can. You got time. But you just, when you get in a certain age, I'm going to just do the 20s, then tomorrow I'm going to do the 30s, then I'm going to do the 40s, then I'm going to do the 50s, 50 to 60. To, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, in the 40s and 50s. I'm going to do the 50s uh, another day, but I'm just bringing down the 20s. I love the 20s. That's why I said, if you get these young ones, man, you start teaching them, oh, my God, a million dollars, man, this and see, they got stats for everything, man. I study, man, because I want my kids and my, I want my tribe to grow, grow the right way. See, just like you say, if you put 1%, 1% in, that, uh, in the 401k, your 401k, you put 1% and that when they turn 65, man, that's 6.6% .6 of their income. Now, when I mean income, 6.6% of their living, their income, if I just put 1%, if they just start off with 1% at 20, 25 and over. So imagine if they it doubles, they put 2%, 3%, it triples. 2%, 12 they, Look how the percentage of rate that he will, man. Compound interest is amazing, man. It's just, it's just amazing. But when you don't know, you don't know. And they need to know. So that's what I'm on about the credit cards. Like I said, I don't tell nobody not to use credit cards, but it's a tool. You got to know how to use it. Again, you know I speak that all the time. I use credit cards. I pay my credit card off every month. 
I get the I like cash back. I don't do that travel, so I like the cash back. Then when I do the tra cash back, that's me. I'm not telling you. I throw it right back into the stock. Let it play. They say the average stock, your man, over the years, your man, it's about seven to ten percent. Percentages, numbers. So imagine your daughter. Let me see that the average four hundred one k for twenty years old. It ain't gonna be put by seven percent, seven point four percent. And you know what I say, 25%. 25% of your income. Once you get your savings, your emergency fund, then you get your savings for your income for six months to save it, then that 25, throw that all in the safe, throw it all into your uh, investment. And I just told you a dollar what a dollar do, and a, a dollar, I just told you what a 1% would do, why wouldn't you do it? You can't beat that. That's in your 20s, man. Look, see, the 20s are so important, man. It's just so important. And you start at 25. I didn't say 19. I said 25. Oh, it's amazing. But when you know the numbers, when you know the numbers, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. Then they got this global pyramid, man. I'm, I'm going to tell you. They got this global pyramid. They say about your net worth. If you, if you got, got $10,000 or more, Ten thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars, your in your global pyramid of global wealth, your network. If you just got ten thousand, you up in fifty five percent, percent, or the the global. So imagine you have from ten thousand to a hundred thousand, you thirty three percent. If you got a hundred thousand to a million, you in an eleven percentile. And if you got a million or more, you one percent. See, you'd have heard people say one percent. That's the one. That's all of your global, your net worth, your house, your cash, everything you have subtracted by what you don't, what you're negative by what you got to pay. So that's why I'm big on debt, man. You take that debt, man. Look, look, you're not that far behind. At twenty years old, man. If you do at twenty, so that's why I'm saying the car note. Let's see, man. Look at the car, man. It got cars, man. That you can buy ten thousand dollars, man. It run well. That you got the maintenance, and what people don't want to do is maintenance. For oh, I got to ride in something like that. That's one thing I love about my daughter. When she got that car, she loves it. She made it all pink. She put all her bedazzle in it. She did all these things. She understood the blessing the Most High gave her. She didn't even understand the money. She just understood. She was happy to get a car. See, when I was a kid, we was happy to get a car. Nobody gave me a car. I had to buy my own car. But we want to go. I don't want to check. My son been talking about that hell cat. You want hell or hell here? You want to get a hell cat here? Not with me. Boy, you, <laughs> you better get your mind right, son. That ain't going to happen. Even if I could get you a hell cat, that ain't going to happen. Because, see, I look at that. That's money we can be putting towards something till you grow. So they're saying, I tell people now, my kid, hey, send them money. We're going to put it up. I do my kids now to get along. 25% got to go outside. And they do the same thing. What, what about, man, that's going to your savings. That ain't going to what we're not spending. It's going to grow. Be quiet. Too. We're going to put it high in your savings account. Let it grow. Until you get a certain age. You be just spending money. I see kids that, so if I just told you a dollar, what a dollar does, and how they seek to find so think about it. you go and get the Netflix subscription, ten dollars. You say, but it ain't number ten dollars, ain't number nine dollars, ten dollars. So ten dollars times ten times twelve. What is that, man? So that if you put that ten dollars in a year, then you go ten. If you put nine dollars for a whole, say nine dollars subscription, and you do that for how long? Nine dollars. That's ten. Uh, that's a hundred dollars in a year. Then go over and say, say sixty-five. Man, come on, man. That's ten thousand dollars. You wasting your money. And Netflix, man, on T-Mobile, my T-Mobile, I don't know about y'all. We get Netflix and we get Apple uh, TV for free. That's one thing my daughter, she don't do no subscription. I make sure my kids out take that subscription out. You wasting money. YouTube is free. You better YouTube it out. And see, them things, they're these little things, the little things, man, that you want to look at. But if you look at that, man, that dollar, one dollar, 25 to... It, that's how much your dollar compound, man, a dollar. Imagine, like you said, I just told you, if I, you put 1%, and think about it, companies might give you, some companies match, some, some companies give you 3 to 4% on your 401k, and you don't even play. I'm big on with my kids. You're going to at least get that. 6%. 
You get the fold in the two half of that, man. You get you max out that. And like I say, it takes time. But see, at twenty, you got time. You might you might can't do twenty five, but you can go to potential to get to twenty five. But if you're doing something, you just take it. That's a, I'm the matcher, man. Six percent and just put it in it, man. What that is so powerful. Percentages. So that's why I'm big on them young. You catch them young, man. They are so man to be a millionaire, man, by sixty five, man. One, imagine the most you put in that, man. You be a four, five, five point five million as you retire, just by simply following the thing, putting it in there, being disciplined. Taking all they wants. Now you didn't stop worrying about them needs. I need the tennis shoes. I need a car. I need a Gucci belt. I need all that is hurting them, man. When you stealing from their future self, you teaching them to steal. You letting them steal from the future them. Because they're going to sit back and say, man, because I can say nobody told me. I'm telling you. They so powerful at 20, man. They so powerful at 25. They powerful. So, man, just look at that, man. I hope I did it well, man. Also, man, I got, I'm got i going to drop it down. I got a Weber. Weber giving free, I think it's two free stocks, but they got 12 factional shopping, two free stocks, man. You just apply, put a dollar in it, man. They give you some free stock. I'm going to add that to my link at the end. I'm going to put that in there. It's a, uh-oh. What do you mean? What you worry about my face for? Oh, I'm messing up the volume. I appreciate that. You couldn't hear it. I, I got to start all over. No, I ain't starting over. <laughs> they can hear you. You just lost that connection. I was just low. Oh, you want to look at it? They want to see my beautiful face? They did. They want to see my beautiful face. Look, I ain't got that long. How long I got that? 30 minutes. I told I got to be on and be on. What you doing? Don't come moving my stuff. But for real, man, I'm thinking about the kids. Can he hear me now? Can he hear me now? They couldn't hear me good? Oh, man, what's going on in my mic? They can hear me? So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. It's just stats, man. The study. Look at education. Thank y'all. Thank you, view. I'm sorry. I hope y'all uh, y'all just had to play it slowly. You know, I get excited about this because I got 30 minutes. Y'all told me I've been doing an hour too long. I say, so I'm trying to get it all out within 30 minutes. Cause y'all attention span, but this is this shit. What I'm excuse my language, see a curse. This is what I'm giving, man. I get excited about that, man. This is money game, man. This is game. See, when I was young, they called this game. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Tell, tell a call. I say thank you. That's how powerful compound interest is, man. It's powerful, man. For real, a dollar. See, that's the part I keep. If I he put twenty five, they put a dollar. That dollar's in six five verse eight eight. But if you wait till you twenty nine. It go down to twenty six fifty. Mm. So man, what so what we need to do? Let's plan for it, baby. Cut out that debt credit card. Get it off you. You gotta get. You gotta attack that credit card because you losing money. You, your future, you was telling you, hey. Your future, you right now reaching back and say, please tell me. P, I'm going into the future, man. I'm time traveling. I'm moving time. I'm going in time to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to your future you. To tell you, man, listen to me. Stop looking in everybody else's lane. And I know my grandmother say it ain't how you start the race. It's how you finish. But if you start it off right, ooh, you come out them blocks fast, man. And you got, ain't nobody. It's, it's, that's a race. When you come out that block, you just lead everybody, man. Everybody like, ooh. Ooh. So I'm trying to get you to start off like that, man. I'm trying to get you to blow off that gate, man. Just blow out and you just, and see, I'm show you something. And I'm, I'm not, I love education. School is good. But imagine, imagine, it's not, say your child don't want to go to school. Because everybody's school ain't meant for everybody. But you educate this and teach them this. You start teaching them about money. You start teaching them about investing. You start teaching them how to start a business. See, because you're in that job, like I said, I don't have nothing to get a job. Listen to me, I'm going to explain to me. But it's a way to understand that job. Even how when you get that job, to understand and get your benefits, how to set your benefits up right. Your dependent, all this stuff, your, your insurance, HSS. My daughter, my oldest daughter, they know how I don't know insurance. What is wrong with you? What? 
See, because we think we're invisible because we don't know, but it's important. See, when my daughter, my daughter, uh, Maddie, hey, we sit down right with her. Hey, you got to get this. Hey, get insurance. You got to get stay. All of it went over everything that she had to have. Then we explained why she had to have it. And investing was the first one. She's been doing that since I'm tell you, young. So when I went to her and I told her, and I'm saying her 25% was $800. She, she didn't even blink eyes. She said, oh, I can do that. I can do that. But imagine if I'd have told my oldest daughter that she'd be like, Dad, I can't do it. See what I'm saying? It starts when they're young. And she blew my mind away. She said, she started asking me about gold and silver. You know what I'm saying? What about gold? How did that work? And I'm telling gold just something to say. It ain't, ain't going to no, get nothing but saving and put that make it stronger. But it ain't, ain't nothing to be increased on it. It's another way of saving your money. Real asset. Her mind is opening up. See, once you give it to them, they can't never, they can't never lose it. Percentages, man. Percentages. This is what they're not teaching you at school. Why are they not teaching this? Why we didn't get this? Could the system be playing us? Could the system be sitting there making us be what? Workers? Because the system be against us. I don't know. I ain't going to get all that. But I'm just saying. But, man, hey, look at that, man. So the important is, man, get off that desk. Start teaching them, man, that credit card, that buy me now, pay later. They're going to be trying to get you. You just pay $200. Daddy, they know but $200. Hey, that's $200 you lost. I just told you a dollar what a dollar do when you turn 65. My, hey, the future you going to thank. Who are you going to be mad at, you or me? I'm going to be mad at you if you don't listen to this. My lawn. So tomorrow I'm going to do uh, from 30, the 30 year olds. We're going to talk about, I know you, because I remember when I was 30, I, when I, I was on my dad's sofa, I was 34 years old. Man, it's terrible. And I really thought, like, my time was up. I was like, there's no way. Oh, I'm behind. I done had conversations with my neighbor, man. We talked about things like that. When I, even after that, when I got my house and I still, because the society is making us think you are behind. It's a mindset. But I'm going to tell you, at 30, man, it's still some good time. It's still a good time to get it, baby. And we're going to break it down. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back. We're going to talk about the 30. But, hey, man, I hope I did this justice. Man, get your little young person here. Sit them down. Let them listen to this. Get that young person. Open a bank account for them. Get that young person. Start taking their money. They might, whoever give them stuff for Christmas, say, get send them money. And start putting that money in that account and start doing that 25% in there. Now, Keith, you ain't said nothing but tithing. That's between you and God. That's how you run your household. I'm not telling you nothing about how to run your household on that part. You decide. But 25%? Now, you do what you want with that 15% and then break it down to 10% of that. And 15 hey, you can do that. But you need to start. But it ain't about, it need to start so you start training them. Because I'm telling you, I got older kids. And when they get old and leave that house, they're going to be like, that's my business. You ain't got no damn business. That's what I tell them. <laughs> so I'm just saying, man, it's other ways to win. But you got to invest that money. You got to get, hey, that's help. Not just a job. Now when I tell you about that 401k and you doing it because a lot of us did it, you ain't going to touch that money. You understand how important that money is. The new way, new ages, man. Learn something, man. Educate yourself. Go look it up. But when I was blowing my mind, I'm saying things just blew me away when they said that, man. And one percent, if you say one percent to you, sixty-five or twenty-five, one percent, that'd be six point six of your living expense. So imagine you get you probably putting fifteen percent in, twenty percent, twenty-five percent. That's just on one investment. Then you start doing real estate. Oh. Then you start oh, start a business. Oh. Man, look, look at that, man. The, the future is so bright. This, see what I tell everybody? I want my kid to have multiple options. Multiple. 
I got this game called Cash Flow, man. I can't wait to play it. My wife made me mad. I'm, she don't mean, well, I can't wait to play the game. It's all about living. Oh, I can't wait to play. It's called Cash Flow, man. It's a big old heavy box, but it, it's doing all that real estate investing, all this stuff, losing money. It's a game, and I can't wait to play with it. I'm going to play with real money with them. I'm, I can't wait to play. I can't wait to play with them. I got to teach, because I'm going to teach them, man. I done read the instructions. My, well, I didn't read them. My sister law read it. We all going to get it. She read it to them. I'm so excited. We just, I got to get the whole group together to play. I got to get the old heads and the young. So they can understand. It's, the, it's better than Monopoly. And a good friend gifted it to me. And I gifted it, like I said, in my studies and searching, I thought he had picked up. I'm like, where have this been? But look how the most high blessed me. See, the most I add to my ad, man, you just go search and he start adding to it. So if you got a young guy that's in their 20s, man, and they coming out of college, they're 25, man, or they can do it before, man, start investing a little, man. You, start, you can build your way up there, but you understand it now. Explain that to him. I play this video. Again, $1 at 25, they go out, you worth $88. So then you wait to 29 to is down to 26.50. The at the mid 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 range wealth in the United States 79,000 some change. Mid level. So that means see that makes everything a little smaller. All of you be thinking, oh, I got a whole bunch of rich people. They it's not. It's not. It's how they manage their money. So man, when they when when Dave Ramos come and tell you, yeah, you can pay off your house in six years, you can you can. You can, cause it ain't you, but you think you can't. You can pay off that student loan debt, you can, but it's how you gotta attack it, man. It's that important that you do it. Now when you know it's this important, you pay off that car note, pay off that cause your money, you lose you ain't just losing money in that part, you lose that interest rate. Imagine you got a car that you don't pay the car seven years. All the money that's lost. We talking about compound and match. See, now I make things look a lot different. Imagine how much money are you losing. Imagine your daughter go get a car, five, $500 car note. Four, five years. See, if she get a $200, I'm, I'm, it's $200, but it's six years. Imagine what's your money she losing. Imagine what that's doing to her future. Her future, you're going to be mad. I'm mad at my old, my young me. I'm mad. See, I got more time behind me than in front of me. And I'm, damn, I should have known that. I should have loved the boy. Man, come on. Now you can't say, once you heard this, now you can't erase it. You can't sit up and say, well, I didn't know. My child, I didn't know. I just told you. I know I went over, I went over my uh, 30 minutes. I know you said, Keith, now you went over your blood and you said you're going to get out. But this is important, man. Like I said, this is, I'm going to be a little long on this one because these for the kids, man. These for the young, man. This is very important that they invest in their sales, man. Their future is, is so bright. And I know, like I said, tell people to go to college, but did you go to college, man? It's a game, man. It got certifications that you can take. They got things you can start teaching your kids at home. The money game, man. Capitalism. Understanding this game, man. And I want you to get it. And see this right here, this video, this video man, I should have a whole bunch of likes on this. I should have somebody clicking on this subscribe. I should have all that. And like you gave my wife birthday. Again, I thank y'all. But I got 300 views. All this, by 150 uh, comments. I should be getting blowed up on this, man. But you won't do it because, you know, that's y'all business. You telling me something about how to raise my kids is my business. I already know that, kid. But this ain't for you. But that's powerful, bro. They make the world a little bit smaller. They make it a little bit smaller. It's not even overwhelming like that. It did for me. I knew some stuff. I knew it, but I didn't know it was that powerful. So imagine you start saving for your kid when they birth. Like some people start saving for them to go to college. They start putting money up for them. When they, imagine that people that's doing that, a kid is coming out. And you imagine you, you having a kid or your, your, your grandkid coming, you start putting something up for your grandkid. Before they even come out the house. Man, you start putting money up and putting them in, put in their name. Ooh, how far they will be here. Pennies. 
See, my grandmother had penis. She had an insurance policy on all of us. Penis, I don't know how she did it, man. She, my grandmother was a, she was a clean house, but she had insurance on us. Penis. She built a house. They had a house that they built paved. Penis. How did they do that back then? They came up, my great grandfather came off the plantation. Penis built, they had bought land. How did he do that, man? They understood more. See, back then they understood money better than we understand money now. But they tricking you, man. They get a news, man, of social media. They doing man, my kids, uh, PlayStation, uh, them the uh what that Roblox, that little money they be doing. I be getting so mad. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. No. Cancel that. They did it with pennies. They had more land and more houses than we have now. We got more money. They did it with pennies. But we want to show. We want to be in everybody else's lane. Just because you're looking at that lane, that don't mean that's the right lane. That don't mean they living the right way. I'm just trying to help somebody because I didn't do it right. And when I found out, I got like, it blew my, I, I can't let my kids go. Like, I can't let this system do this to my kids. I can't. I have to be the me. I will be the evil one. I will sacrifice my friendship with them to get them right. They future me. They're going to be like, boy, my daddy was a good man, man. Let me tell you, my daddy be crying about me. They're going to be crying. Tell my, put a picture on the wall, man. They're going to be loving me. The future, them are going to love me. The young ones, they can't stand me. He's crazy. So You ain't like so-and-so, daddy. He just this, this. I don't give a damn about so-and-so, daddy. We're in our own lane. This is what we're doing over here. Nothing against them. But here, see, this is what we're doing. So I'm sorry I went over a little bit, man. Like I said, I hope y'all got that played again. Man, sit down with your kids. Let them understand it. Take some money out. Like I said, my thing, my, my daughter, when I, she said, I didn't understand the 75, 25. I just ripped that dollar. She still was on it about that dollar. I, no, kid, you waste that. You waste a dollar. A huh? dollar. But I like that. She cheap like that. that yeah, that, hey, conscious, money conscious. And I know some of y'all are the same. Kids just love money. I didn't, ain't love the money, but I need the money. I like having it. I don't love it. I like having what I like. I like to learn the system, knowing what to do with this system, man. Cause I know I didn't know. And if I'd have known this back then, ooh, man, I'm I'm 54, man. You man, you I be sitting at. Understand the tax laws. It's the game, man. Back in the day, they didn't have no. They wouldn't work. They working for themselves. They had more money back then than we have now, and they knew what to do with it. I just told you what to do with it. So, all right, I'm going to get to go, man. I had to let it over my time because it was for the 20 year olds. I love the young guy, the young people, man. That's, that's what I'm trying to get because you can't change y'all old ones. Y'all old ones setting your way. you embarrassed. I don't want to talk. That's my business. He tell, I, I do it my way. This is my way. I want to do it. I, man, I just don't give up. I'm going to get me. I got to get my what I want. I like to look good. Okay, you all these whatever. You ain't got to argue with me. I'm just saying, but I'm just trying to help the kids. Love the kids. Love the kids. That's what I'm trying to help. But I'm going to drop them 30s, then I'm going to drop them, I'm going to go to the 40s, then I'm going to go to the 50s. And you still going to be amazed, man. It ain't never too late. It's never too late. Knowledge is powerful. I would take knowledge over money any day. My knowledge is going to make you money. I tell you, stop making other people rich, man. You got so much inside of you. The Most High has blessed you with everything you need to succeed. That's all I want you to get to know. It ain't me. Ain't nothing I'm telling you. Everything I'm telling you is out there, man. I learned this. I did not come and wake up and say, the most high bless me. No, he gave me an understanding of seeking ye shall find. Wisdom. Knowledge. All that's going to bring you money. And you got the power to do it. But see, the devil corrupts you with your mind and the past and all that stuff. Thinking about the past, what had happened, and you're making excuses. Now, wait a minute, Keith. You don't know what I've been through. Man, I know somebody been been, been through stuff and they, they, their daddy did stuff to them and they still thriving. I know some people that done went through some stuff and they still thriving. I told one of my partners, say, he going through stuff. I said, man, didn't you? I said, you wouldn't have been through three divorces. And we all know how hard divorces is. You lost your mom and your daddy. Know how hard that is, and it was close. And you hear that worrying about a little trouble that you get in your life, it's a little hiccups, and you just there about to fall apart. Come on, man, come on, man. All the stuff, man, you've been through, bro. 
we made it. We always made it through, made a way, right? Like I say, there's two sides of corn, man. That means some good got a two sides of bread, two sides of pancake. That means if it's bad, some good got to come out of it. It have to. So, man, let some good come out of what I just gave y'all, man. I hope I can help somebody. I hope you get this. People like my son, Makai, is about to graduate. I, like I said, I had kids, and I had ones that didn't want to listen because I didn't have nothing to feed them. So I owe that to them. But this is the thing I'm telling you, man, we're getting deep into this. We're getting older. I'm going to show you how to hey, buy your time back. And all you got to do is be willing. If you're willing, you able. But you got to believe before. And I tell you that all the time, the foundation is belief. Then you come renew your mind. Renew your mind with all that bull crap, man. Get all that out and then step, draw the line in the sand and then step over it. Move forward. I believe in you, bro. Like I said, I was on my status sober at 34. I ain't where I, I'm, I'm going to be yet. I'm not there yet. I got a long way to go. Cause I, but the future looks bright. And I'm blind, dude. I lost my eyesight sitting in this house. But the future looks bright. I'm telling you. So, man, share this. Hit the like. Give it to the kids, man. 20 year old, man. You are powerful, bro. You can recover so much. You are so strong. Your dollars are so important. Your dollars, every dollar you have is very important. And I just told you at 25, imagine you start at 20. So imagine you didn't go, you, uh, school ain't for me. I'm going to go in the military. Imagine you start at 20 and you go in and go to a job or you go, what them dollars can do for you. Imagine you start getting your credit and then you start buying real estate. Oh, how far did he gain you in? Imagine you working and you got your little small business, small business, and it's going, you, oh. Then imagine if you married to your spouse and you all y'all on the same page doing that. Man, you'll be a financial leap. You'll be, ooh, ooh. That's why I want to talk to the young kids, man. I'm, I'm going to get this house to them. I got it. See, that's who I want to get. I want to who I want to affect. I wanna, man, that's when you change. See, that's going to stop all that killing and understanding because people are poor, man. Poor mindset, man. You start doing foolish things because you don't understand the system. When that kid comes sit in your house and say he ain't going to work and you just sit there looking at him and he quitting his job and all that. No, fool. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I'm sorry I ain't calling your kid a fool, but that's what I say to mine. You can't do that else. Let me explain this to you why. You can't be sucking up all my resources. You got all the ability to go work and pay. Start get on that job, get a 401k, and start that money to working for you. Put some money back. You can stay here long as you follow these rules. And just let them out there lay up there and don't do nothing. And she came to help them. I don't know what's wrong. That's what's wrong. They don't understand money. Because money, you looking at, looking at everybody on social media and all that. Oh, I got to go. I'm sorry. I went on too long. I get, man, I'm serious. This is for the young ones, man. I, I, I'm a, I ain't going to be long when I talk to y'all old ones. But them young ones, man, I got to get them, man. I want them to wake up, man, because they want to go get a car. Man, you, I'm telling you, you get that car and that interest rate on that car. And see, again, we talking about percentages. I just told you 1% going into your life is 6 points of your income. So imagine you go get 11%, 15%, 9% interest rate on a car, 25% on a credit card. Look what happens to your dollar. They tell you go buy a house, America dream to buy a house. Why? Look at that. Imagine if you go buy your first house and you turn into a rental, Airbnb. Look what them dollars will do for you. Them dollars gonna make them dollars gonna impregnate. They gonna make more babies. A whole bunch of babies about dollars just going all over the place, man. This inflate. Is that important, bro? Hey, again, y'all better like this shit. And I'm a curse on this because I got I like these. You better. I know you said keep you talking about the law one minute, you curse it the next. I am not perfect. God know my heart. I understand that. I'm working on it. I get up in the morning asking forgiveness. I'm gonna have to repent. I repent for what I say. But I'm still in a working process. Stop listening. I used to tell people like, man, your grandmother used to curse all the time. I said, Man, that's all you heard. You missed all that good stuff, man. You focus on that cursing. What about all that stuff she said? All other good things. You gonna learn by and by. Don't be a fool for the people. Man, so much great stuff. My grandmother, she was so wise. She didn't, and she didn't know none of this stuff. But they was a, 
when my grandmother died, she had an insurance policy on me, man. I couldn't, it just blew my mind because I knew how my grandmother did. She didn't have, and, and I'm saying she had 10, 11 kids, and they had, each kid had two or three, and she had insurance on me. And my mom told me, well, that's your policy. What you want to do with it? Hey, put it back in there, cash it, and put it, send it back to her, to the house, do something. But it was just, oh, man, it meant so much, man, that she couldn't think about me like that. And But I was a bad kid, too. She thought I was going to get killed. I guess I was. I used to fight all the time. But anyway, she thought about me. It don't matter what, what the reason was. She thought about me, man. It was a moment, man. I, 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 I cried a little bit. Yes, I did. I'm emotional. I get emotional now. But she thought about me. How could she do that, man? My grandmother was, man, for real. She was like, and these kids right here, man, I appreciate things she did. I got so many stories with her, man, but powerful. I got one story, one more story. This is going to be funny. My grandmother cursed all the time, man. My grandmother was a beast. I'm going to say, Tyler, Tyler Perry made that money, man. man my, we could have wrote the book by my grandmother, man. I, I, I miss, see, I missed our, missed our money right there because my grandmother was a beast. She, she was better than what old Tyler Perry was doing because she was a beast without a gun. She she ain't need no damn gun. She, But anyway, my grandmother told me I was graduating. She said, Keith, I'm going to buy you some shoes, baby. I said, yeah. I said, oh, you know, you have to say, no, nah, I'm going to buy you some shoes. I want you to go up to the store up there. I got an account up there and tell them, you put it on my account, I'm going to buy you some shoes for you. I said, I said, okay, so I'll go up there. I walk in the store, the lady say, hey, I say, listen, looked at me some shoes, brought up, I said, I got this, my grandmother, Linda Moten, she told me to come and get some shoes to put on the account. Now, this is back in the day, you know, this is back in the day, small town. So the lady said, I, I don't know, you don't know, Linda Moten, we don't have no account for no Linda. I said, well, ma'am, I got Linda. I said, yeah. I shouldn't have said her name, but anyway, she said, we don't have no account for her, and, and I said, yeah, she told me to come up here and get, you know, she got an account, she sent me up here, my grandson, you know, she told me to come up here and get it. The lady said, no, nah, we don't do that, sir, I'm sorry, you got the wrong, you got to tell, man, we don't have no account for that, you wrong about that, said, I'm sorry. I said, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, baby. Now, I see this back in the day, I'm young, so we in Louisiana, man, you know, white people, black, this, it was a toxic thing then, so I'm like, okay, white lady tell me, you know, they only people, white people own stores, so. I go back home. I say, hey, Mom, Lenny. Hey, the people say that you don't have no account there. You know what I'm saying? I said, but in my mind, I'm like, don't worry about it, Mom, Lenny. We ain't got to get it. She said, you a, excuse my life, you a goddamn lie. What she say? Hold on. My grandma got on the phone. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know who else. Lady must have the phone, man. My grandmother. B, you did this man curse that lady out so bad, man. Went off on that lady, man. And, and my grandma had this talk, man. She would call you. If she call you, she'll say something to you. She hang the phone up. You can't say a word. He come back up and cursed all bad. Slam the phone down. Bam! I said, I'm looking at it like, oh, my God. She said, now go up there and get you some damn shoes, like I said. I said, Mom, Lenny, don't worry about it. Boy, did you hear what I say? I said, yes, Mom, Lenny. Go back up there. I walk on that stove. The lady said, you didn't say it was Linda. <laughs> you did not tell me. I said, yes, I did. I told you it was Linda. She said, no. My lady just gave me the shoes. She ain't ring nothing up, just gave me the shoes and walked out the thing. So people ask me why I'm crazy how I am. My grandmother raised me with my mom, man, but my grandmother ain't play no games, man. She ain't play no games. She, white, I don't care what color you was, she ain't play no games. And I'm talking about this back in the day. So that's what I'm saying. The way I am, man, you listen to all that cursing, man, but she was powerful. She was a powerful woman, man. She was powerful. And she was she cleaned houses and she wouldn't and she did what she wanted to do. We got so many stories with her that she was teaching us to be strong. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Don't be a fool. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't no fool. What I just gave y'all, don't be a fool. Take this, man. Learn from it. Put it in your uh in your uh roller decks. See church, your kids look at it. Think about it for a second. Play it over again. I hope I did it justice. I'm not I hope I did, man, because it's so powerful, man. That's why I be on this credit card debt, man. That's why that buy now, pay later, don't pay their loan and all that. You're stealing from your future. You're stealing from your future, you. Them car notes, man, just to look good. Your future, you're looking at you like, God damn. No damn well he can't afford that. Stay out they lane. I'm done, man. I had to go over this, man, because it's 20. I'm going to do the 30s tomorrow, man. I'm not going to be that long. Oh, to get smaller and smaller. But I just had to be, man. It's so important that you get this understand this so that extra money you get man throw it in there man like i said the stock market kid i don't know nothing about it man i go to vanguard fidelity all these places man you can call them they ask questions you can ask some questions man they give you advice and get them questions everybody got fee base and you don't want if you don't know something it, doing something is better than not doing nothing i'm gonna tell you like that you know we can get detailed about it oh you check how much they pay how much they charge they taking one percent out you know how much you losing hey you don't know you don't know but you're doing something 
I just told you what it is. You're doing something. You out there doing, going critical, going backwards, negative. That ain't doing nothing. So, man, put something in there. Stop thinking about it, overthinking it. Sit down on the phone with them. Sit there till they explain it, till you understand. Go do your research. There's a lot of financial information on there. Get you a financial advisor, fee-based. Don't get that. Talking about they trying to tell you. Just say pay the fee and see. But you got to learn this for yourself and for your children. 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 That's how important it is, and I, and I know I went over my time, but this is very important to the to the youngs, the younglings, because that dollar is, ooh, that dollar is strong. It's strong. And inflation, all that, you got to compensate. They got the calculator. They got a compound calculator, man. You can look at put compound calculator. Start doing the numbers. Put it in there. Don't just listen to me. Put the numbers in there and see. I might be off a little bit, but put the numbers in there. Look at the global net worth. Look at the network for the United States. Look at these numbers. Look at the percentage and understand that, man, and see. Start learning the game. Understand this word is capitalism. Understand what that means. Understand what the inflation, all this information, GDP, all this stuff that's going on that you don't know. You're just sitting there just blowing by the wind. I said something. I don't know. I don't look at that news. You better learn something. Start looking to, you got a stock channel, man. I, you know, another thing I like, and I know I'm in Shark Tank. Start, I love Shark Tank, man. I want to get on that show. I just don't have nothing to, to give. But I, if I figure something out, I'm going on Shark Tank. I want to get on there and just, ooh, I want to mark you, but I, wanna, I just want to rub shoulders with a man. I want to get up in there, I, but I got to get something. It's going to bless, more high going to bless me. My kids, somebody going to get on there. I just want to be there. I just want to, man. I want to rub shoulders with them. Being there. Man, I'm telling you. It's powerful, bro. Learn some history, man. Learn to stop. Learn how much over the years we've been in this place, man. We done been right where we at, recession up. We done been in depression, all these things. Learn from the past, man. And see what them dollars did. See how it worked. Under, get understanding, man. Teach your kids. So, all right, man, I'm gone. I know I went over. But, man, this is, I had to I had to go a little deeper, man. I know. And I got this. I'm Hey, Weber. 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 Weber, Weber, Rebab, I don't know, I can't say it right. But I'm going to drop the link to those, man. They give you free stocks. You know what I'm saying? You can put a little money, put a dollar in. They're getting, uh, you got to set that now. You got to set up the account. It ain't that hard. My wife did it. She don't like doing this stuff because I'm always in. She just be like, oh, I got to do this. Man, do this. Man, they give you some free stocks. I'm going to add the link at the bottom, man. You can start investing in you like, man, the percent. They break it down, the percent of how much each stock worth. And, but for a dollar, man, you can just start investing in, man. Then you you can do it. Then your kids can do it. And you just you just keep on going, you know. So I'm going to add my link to it. Hey, start doing it, man. Get the whole family. I got my eyes on it. I got my wife, my kids, you know, my brother. So it's, it's free. You know what I'm saying? It's something to be growing. Like I told you what a million dollars mean, man. Tell you about the percentages. So, hey, man, you want it all. Don't leave nothing on the table. I ain't leaving nothing on the table. Hey, hey, y'all have a great day. It's Thursday. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to hit them 30 olds. Give you give you some game. Hey, man, we should blow up with this one. I should blow up. I should blow up. I should blow up. But I'm going to keep going if you don't. I just love to talk, and I love to give it. So, hey, I wish y'all the best, man. Work day. Get in. Hey, and thank you, man. I'm sorry that I didn't, my mic was too close. So I tried something new, man. I tried my mic. I got it too close, and I was mumbling and stuff but hey i broke down and down i think i did all right i just wanted to get that one point if you put a dollar and their future self 88 dollars you think that ain't a lot but start by how many more dollars you put that's just one dollar if i tell you put four dollars a day in there four dollars a day what that create get, get, get that calculator get compound into calculator and start playing with them numbers it'll blow your mind Average, it tell you the average stock, you know, average stock between seven, seven and ten percent. I got one I'm, I'm looking at. It's down right now, but it's average nine. I look at over the past, it's average nine percent. Meet your funds. I don't do no trading. People do trading. That's gambling. I don't do that. I do be looking at Tesla stuff like, but I don't, I don't do all that stuff, man. Meet your funds. You know, set up. I'm, a, I'm a mine's me, me honestly. I'm at a growth. You got the most risk you want. You know, you get old, you need to take a little more risk. You know, so but hey, come and call. So it's the game, man. That's why I say you start early, man. You don't have to do that much risk. Start early, man. Start early. Start them kids early. Man, I'm telling you, millions. 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 That's, hey, I just gave you a million dollar game, man. I, come on. If you can't realize this, this will save your children. I just told you how to save your children, man. I did. 
Hey, Word on Streets, Monday, Wednesday, 7 p.m. We drop one Wednesday. Came off, Mr. O'Neill. Building that mindset up, man. Getting you stronger. Getting you to believe in yourself. This is what we're doing. See, we teach you right there, then I'll come back and hit you with this. Because you got to get your mind right first to believe it. So we're going to hit you right there with that. The belief. Hit you right there how to plug in. Our last thing was how you unplug, plug in, follow, forward. Plug in and follow forward. This is what we're talking about here. That's what was on last night. This is what I'm on today. On a 20 year old. Hey, to become wealthy, man. It's all about wealth. It's wealthy, man. They're not telling you that in the church. They're not. I'm sorry. We so spiritual, and I'm spiritual. I love the most high. He gave me the wisdom and knowledge to find it. Seeking you to find. I'ma feed you. I'm setting a table. A whole bunch of like minded individuals. And when my kids get it and your kids get it, they come together. Oh man, just imagine if they come together. Man, let me stop talking. I'm, I get so excited about this, man. I'm telling you, it's so powerful. It's so powerful, bro. And now you should get excited. If you ain't excited, you you just miserable. You just want to be miserable. I'm sorry. I know my mama going to come. Keisha, call people miserable on the thing. Now, you can't call people. I say if. I didn't say you. I didn't call no name because my mama going to be telling how you call people lazy. You can't. I, I know I didn't call nobody Pacific. It's mind blowing. It's mind blowing for me because of my kids. I, I got a future for them to see. Their future is so bright. Now I got to get them to listen to me and do it. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Now I got to be able to see the world tell them it's too late. My daughter's 34. You see the world, I was at when I was 34. It's too late, yo. Dad, I don't know. I got you, baby. So she make more money. Can't do but get better and better. If I got a 25 cent put in here, she might need to do 35. She might need to start a business. She got to make more money. She got to educate herself. She gets some certifications. See what I'm saying? The game is never over. What all about is buying your time back. So now you're going to go out there and grind even harder. Now, I so say when I tell you this and I say go start a business, it ain't going to be how important it is to start you a business. How important it is to learn about taxes. How important it is to learn about your benefits and all that. All these things come up to dollars that make sense. Because think about all these millionaires that you, football players, the ones that football players, how did they lose their money in five years? Because they didn't invest it. They parted. How they become, you got millions of dollars. Because they didn't know they gave it to somebody else, somebody else screwed them, but you got the number. That's it, man. I'm just, I'm serious. I'm, I'm sorry I went online. I'm not sorry, I really ain't, but I'm just saying, man, you got to get this. This is how important it is from 18 to 20 You got to get this. I don't care what line of sports, what you got doing, how much money you make. If you get this, man, it's going to blow anything else out the water. See, I'm here on the top of that, the top of that. Hey, I just uh, got my 401k. I uh, got my job. I'm making good money. I got my budget. Then, oh, then I put my savings up. I got that stacked up. Oh, I got my emergency fund. Oh, I'm, I got down payment on this house. I'm going to get investment. Oh, now I got that money working. I got me that. And, oh, what, I'm going to put some more up. What, 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 what? Oh, I'm going to start a business. I can try. I got a little money. I'm going to start my little business. I'm working hard. I'm grinding. See, you just going to grind for a little while. I don't work two jobs. I've been in the military. I did all that. I'm telling you, I had a hundred dollars. I did all the jobs. And, and this, uh, this beats that. My, I'm going to tell you, my brother did it this way. He started off like this. It works. I'm not telling you something that no, oh, well, you just going by some standard. No, I'm telling you, I know people that did it, and it works. Because I'm around them. And I didn't brother them around people that did it, and we have a conversation. Because, see, we talking two different languages. We talking Chinese or whatever language we talking the money. We talking that money language. And when you talk a money language, you start talking and people start giving it to you. They start giving you knowledge. They start giving you stuff. They start telling you how to make money. And they just say, oh, it's all free. But you got to be willing and able. You got to be trustful in the most high. Like I say, don't trust man. Trust the most high. It sent you something. A blessing. And I just gave you one. The blessing you woke up. But I just filled your cup through him. Hey, y'all have a good day. Hey, I wish I hope this touched someone. I hope this grabbed someone. Hey, Monday's night, Wednesday nights. Come holler at us. Man, that's so powerful. I'm, I'm just still, I'm like in church. How you get in church, the pastor be getting all excited. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I might be hot because I got this jacket on. But I'm just saying, I'm I'm feeling this right now. Boy, I can go, man. The pastor be like, down, down. Now my grandmother say, it don't take that long. 
to talk to God. But I'm just saying, I understand now why they was taking long. Because, man, you get so you get started feeling all this stuff and excitement about this. I'm just excited for the children if they grab it. All right, man. Later.